Hello Bantams. As many of you know, back in July, we made significant commitments to address systemic racism at Trinity. These commitments were made in a continuum of change that began before I arrived at Trinity. These steps, while significant, won't all by themselves end centuries of oppression and inequality within our country and our society. But we can all make a difference in helping to create a more equitable, inclusive community at Trinity. Today, I wanna to share some highlights of what's been done over the past few months toward this goal. First, we have instituted a required course for all students, faculty, and staff aimed at understanding unconscious bias and engaging with people across differences. Our Office of Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion has implemented many training and programmatic opportunities this fall, including required sexual harassment prevention and education. And we sponsored a powerful two-day summit in September, exploring the historical roots of racial inequality, which more than 120 Trinity community members participated in. Second, we are moving forward to further diversify our campus community and our leadership groups. We've improved processes for faculty and staff recruitment and hiring, and implemented new guidelines for special opportunity faculty hires. We are committed to making 18 of these hires over the next three years. We also have created a new Board of Trustee Committee on Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion, chaired by Trustee Michael Gary, Class of 1986. I hope you all know that Trinity's bicentennial is fast approaching in 2023. Leading up to that historic occasion, we want to better acknowledge and honor the college's full history. A new faculty, student, and alumni initiative called the Premise Project will lead that work directly. I look forward to seeing the fruits of this research-driven, community-based effort, including their recommendations on the naming of campus buildings. Together, we have accomplished a lot in just the past three months, including the creation of a new Campus Climate Task Force. I encourage you to visit the Task Force website to learn more about our work. We'll be updating you on our progress and we'll continue to seek your partnership in this critical work. Together, we will create the community we wish to be. Thank you.